Pete's Tools.com. G'day guys, Pete and Pete's Tools, great to see you here again today. I bought a whole lot of these things the other day, thought I got a bargain online, you know how it is. They look really, really good. They're uh, plasma cutting guides, so I thought, yeah, oh, yeah, they'll be good for my torches and that sort of thing. Anyway, I got them and I can't really figure out what the point of them is. They seem to be pretty well two fifths of useless. Anyway, it might be me. Have a look at the video, guys, and you tell me what you think. Same as usual, guys, you like my videos, subscribe, drop me a like, drop me a comment, come say good day at peachtools.com, and uh, yeah, see if you guys can work this out. Hey, don't get me wrong, guys, this is a pretty nice looking piece of kit. I mean, it's cheap as well, I mean, I couldn't produce it for it, but what they charge you for it. I think it was six bucks or something stupid like that. I mean, it's, it's really nicely made, look at that. It's brass or copper, I think it's actually brass, and it's got an alley insert in it. Um, yeah, all in all, it's nicely made, but I, I just don't think it works. Anyway, I'll show you what I mean. Now, the idea of a guide like this is to actually guide your torch while you're cutting. At least that's what dumb Pete thought. So you put that in there. You adjust your little wheels like so until you get them level with the, with the uh, drag tip. But that's the thing. This is the drag tip. So what you've got to do anyway is your tip here of the torch has to touch your steel before you can cut. So it's no point having this wheel on there because you're on the steel anyway. It's not as if you're up in the air and you're going like this because you're already on the steel. So if you put that on there like so and you adjust your wheels up, I'll do it in a minute and I'll show you exactly what I mean. You adjust these wheels up, what's it supposed to do? It doesn't guide you anywhere. It just, I don't, just don't get it. I mean I can do that just as easy as I can with this. Now what I think they've done, they've had a lot of requests online because I've been following it. If you've got a PT31 torch or a LG40 torch, which is basically the same thing, doesn't matter what country you're in, people have been asking for one of these cheap guides. So what they've done is this. This is my tier anyway. And shoot me down in flames if you like, but I, this is Pete's theory. See this here guys? This is a cutting guide for a P80 torch. P80 torch like this, it's a big torch, it's 80 to 100 amps. The difference between this torch here and this torch here is this torch here is the drag tip, it's not pilot arc, this one is pilot arc. Pilot arc, when you do that on your torch like so and you do them up, and it looks real cool, but it actually works because a pilot arc, the flame comes out and you're not actually touching your work, if you understand what I'm saying. So therefore, if you're not touching your work, then you can go like, look, I'll show you. Just bear with me for a second, guys. If I take this off, and I'm using this as a pilot arc torch, your pilot arc torch sits about 2 millimeters from whatever you're cutting. So therefore your torch can go from side to side, and it can wobble, and you can shake, and, and all the rest of it. But this one here is a drag tip. So you put it straight on the thing, and you've got more control. So you don't need that for a start. PAD torch. Put them on like that. Adjust it so that you've got about two millimetres between the end of your tip and your cutting surface. So you just do that with your screwdriver, push that up, push that up. So imagine that's two millimetres. You go like that and then you can actually steer it and do what you want with it. Rather than holding it up in the air and trying to do it by hand, which would be a right pain in the ass if you understand what I'm saying. But with this one here, it's useless. If I put that on there, and I have to, for, the, for this to start, it has to touch on there anyway. So what is the point? Here I'll show you. I'll cut a bit of steel and I'll show you. So guys, to get this to work as a so-called guide, I've had to adjust it. I don't know if you can see it there guys, that there's no gap between the tip and the work, which I think is pointless and those wheels are doing absolutely nothing now because we don't have to hold it above the work if you understand what I'm saying. Here I'll show you what I mean. So for argument's sake guys, I want to do a shape like so. So we'll go there, there, like this and we want to cut that off. So you'd think that guide would be really easy to use, wouldn't you? Okay, so let's have a go at doing it. The wheels are a pain in the ass. See, they're not even... Did you notice that, guys? The wheel's not even bloody rotating because it's... it's it's not designed for this torch, and I'll show you what they've done. That's a 
Ich habe einen Tag in Hand. 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 So this is how it cut guys, it's bloody disgusting, it didn't even follow the line round and this is supposed to be a guide. I mean it's, yeah, anyway, you make up your own mind. Anyway, now I'll do it freehand and I'll show you. So guys, now I'll just do it freehand. So we'll do a squiggle, wee, without the guide wheels and see how you go with that. It's a lot better. 100% more control. Then we've got those bloody wheels sliding in this here. What do you reckon guys? I cut right through the line. Whereas the first time it was just one big cock up. So they're not designed for these torches. And I'll show you why. So remember guys I was talking about the P80 torch. How this is a nice guide and it works really well because it's a pilot arc torch. What they've done is. This here is a basic guide for a P80. And because everyone was asking them, the manufacturers, to make one for a LG40 or a, or a PT31 torch, which they're not designed to do, what they've done is they've come up with this. And this is exactly the same as this. All they've done is use the same outside, but they've put a little alley insert in it. And that's all they've done. You watch. So we've got this one here. So if we take that out, We take this alley insert out. So they haven't redesigned anything at all. They've just used an old guide for a new purpose that doesn't work. Here we are guys, here's the insert that they've just put in there and they've just drilled a hole in it so we can put a screw through it and pin the uh, ceramic of the torch to it. Now this is the, uh, this is the LG PT31 guide. This is the uh, P80 torch. Put them on a little like so. Get my screw in like that. Adjust my legs or whatever I want to do. Do them up. Just do them up like so. Till he's tight. Drop this down. As far as it'll go. The other side as well. That's already down this one. This one. There we go, we're pilot arc. See how that fits on there guys, and it's for pilot arc because it keeps the distance off the work. So uh, I reckon that's exactly what they've done. I've made one of these out of a P81 and I've just put a LE insert in there. So here's another P81 here. Which is exactly the same thing, which would fit into the P31 torch if I put this insert in it. It would be exactly the same thing. So that's what they've done. They've um, tried to capture the market by giving people something that doesn't actually work. Well, I don't think it does anyway. Maybe I'm wrong. Anyway, put some comments down below if you think I'm wrong. But uh, I think that's what's happened. On the other hand, I would recommend. These are really, really good. And you're going to say to be a Pete, it's exactly the same thing. No, it's not. You've got here, you've got your wheel and it's got an internal piece that turns around by itself you've got your rod like so and you've got your compass piece like so now I'll show you what this thing does now you might be forgiven to say that this is the same as the other one, but it certainly isn't. It's made for a totally different purpose, and this is actually does what it's supposed to do. You put your rod on here, this is for cutting circles. And it doesn't matter if you're using a drag tip, like a PT31, because it's not designed to keep it off the work. It's just designed to give you a fixed point to do a circle. So this works brilliantly on this torch. On the other hand, this looks like this. I think this is about 50 bucks, this thing here. I think this thing here is about 5 bucks. And you say, oh, well, it's the same. I'll buy one of these 5 buck ones. No comparison whatsoever. This, this here is a piece of junk, according to me. And this here, I would recommend to anybody. So there you go. I'll put some links down below if you want it, if you're interested in either of these. But uh, you know which I'd prefer. But if you're using a PT31 torch or an LG40 and you want a cutting guide, 
don't bother because um, you don't need a cutting guide because it's a drag tip. But if you want to cut circles or half circles or shapes, get one of these because they're brilliant. Because all this is designed to do is hold your torch in one fixed place like that while you move. So you don't go out, you don't go in, so you get this, this a perfect circle. So yeah, so basically, that's what I figured out. But like I say, what do I know? Yeehaw! Anyway, guys, I'll do another video next week, I think, and I'll show you how to use one of these. They're pretty cool, I reckon. Anyway, guys, that's about my rant for the week. Message from Pete this week is don't get caught out by something that looks really pretty and it's cheap. Get something that costs a little bit more and actually does what it's supposed to do. Anyway, guys, same as usual. You like my videos, subscribe, drop me a comment down below. We have a bit of a yarn. And uh, we'll see you next week, eh? Bye. Pete's Tools.com. Pete's Tools.com.